Breaking news. Where there is no vision, people perish. Let us listen to what Prophet T.B. Joshua said 12 years ago, on Sunday, December 28, 2008, concerning the crisis we are in. In a prophetic message, he warned us of what was to come in the future, stating it was a long-time prophecy that there would be an economic crisis that would humble everyone. These were his words. There will be economic crisis. You have to cut your coat according to your size. Those of you that have surplus, whatever you can do now to live moderate, the only way you can be saved if your treasure is in the hand of God. There will be economic crisis. It's coming and it's everywhere. You will be forced to humble. Tell your neighbor, you will be forced to humble. There will be economic war because there's no enough money to fight war. There will be crisis in economy. Countries that rely on the mineral resources like oil, they should quickly look beyond oil. I'm just telling you long time prophecy. Not immediate. What you you can begin to prepare yourself now. You that are into this, you have surplus now. What can you do now? Because this surplus will, will be forced to reduce. So you pray for the whole world. Remember, trial is the soil in which faith flourish. Tell your neighbor. You are a faith man. I'm a faith man. There is no fear. As a faith man, there is no fear. Prayer is the soil in which man of faith flourish. Three years later, on Sunday, October 16, 2011, Prophet T.B. Joshua spoke further about the economic crisis that was to come. Let us listen to the words of Prophet T.P. Joshua nine years ago. I said to you, there will be economic crisis. The war, the whole war we face now is economic war. You will see every nation, every country will come out going on the street protesting and you have not seen anything, write it down. Everyone will be humble. Those who rely on oil, mineral resources, they should look beyond because there will be even no, enough money to buy oil. There's something God wants to achieve concerning this. God wants to achieve humility to the core. He want everybody to be on their knee. Every nation to be on their knee. After that, the solution will come. That is what God wants to achieve. Whatever you have now, cut your code according to your side. If you have surplus now, please, that surplus, you have to, whatever you can do now, before that surplus will go away. But if you have too much, People will be out there to attack you. They will attack you physically like this. The time is coming, and it has come. Two years later, on Sunday, December 29, 2013, once again, Prophet T.B. Joshua prophesied about the coming economic crisis worldwide where countries would become broke. Let us listen to the words of Prophet T.B. Joshua seven years ago. Cash flow, forget. People will be broke. Country will be broke. Single people can be richer than a country. Amen. Your oil, you will drink them. <laughs> Whatever your country has discovered in terms of mineral resources, and it has been a source of income. 
causing corruption, causing this, causing fight, people living flamboyant and those things, nobody will buy them. The price will drop drastically. So I want to say to you, we have to return to farm. Fishing, cattle rearing. This is where we are coming from. We have to return back there. On Monday, April 20, 2020, Prophet T.B. Joshua addressed the world concerning the current situation with this official message on Facebook. Breaking news, the way out for COVID-19. TB Joshua, what can you say about the issue of coronavirus? Why are ministers of God not praying for coronavirus patients? Coronavirus is an issue of the governments. Its real origins have to do with mistakes in critical international research. Since their body language is understood, we have to give to Caesar what is Caesar's. Matthew 22, 21. That is the position of ministers of God. In today's world, warfare is no longer about physical weapons. This is one of the silent but devastating weapons of the contemporary world. During my last address on the 5th of April, 2020, I mentioned that this was an error in advanced technology. It is all about error. That nature is involved can be no excuse, as this has led to the deaths of many innocent people all over the world. It is an attack on the nature of God, the air. Thank God that nature is fighting back. Nature is eliminating it in its own way. It is getting to its peak and is coming down. Naturally, it will go the way it came. This is one of the things the Bible says will happen in the end time, perilous seasons when fear will rule the land. As I said, I see it as an error in advanced technology. In the nearest future, Expect this kind of error and retaliation. Let us pray to advert this. In all, it is coming to an end. Finally, hardship virus is more dangerous than coronavirus. The presidents of the nations should open up the economy. The more we delay in opening up the economy, the more we will face a worse situation afterwards. Thank you. This is a prophetic message for the world. <laughs>